Mr. Mayor, Leader of the Council, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I can introduce myself properly now. I'm Mike Smith and I'm your chairman. <laughs> Three chairs in one year, so uh, I did wonder what the revolving door was at the, at the players' entrance. Um, but uh, hopefully uh, I'm here to stay and here to stay for a while. I was honoured, uh, it's a privilege to be asked by Chris Ingram to take the chair of this fantastic football club. I did, though, have, have to think about it uh, from the point of view of asking the most important person in my life whether it was a good thing for me to do or not. So I had to ask my wife, Bev, um, and I consulted with her, and she was happy for me to, to give my bit to Woking. So, Bev, thank you for allowing me to become part of something that's going to be a fantastic success in the future. Woking is a fantastic top club, we all know that. But we've got to prove ourselves now, we've got to go on and put ourselves back where we belong. And I'm confident that with the squad of players that we've got, with the management team that we've got, the leadership that we've got, with the board that we've got, we are going to get where we want to be. There's no doubt about that in my mind whatsoever. But it is going to be difficult. Chris Ingram has, uh, we have a lot to thank Chris Ingram for, he has decided that it's time for him to push back the chair He's been most generous to the club. The ground, we can now play on Keatfield for the princely sum of one pound per year, but we do have to stay in the black. That means we, as a club, now stand on our own. That's me, and that's you, and it's the fantastic support that we enjoy. Only through our efforts in time to come will we take this club where we need it to be. So, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard all about working football club tonight. I'm not going to add my thanks to anyone in particular. I've met most of you. A big, big thank you to all involved, everybody involved. A big thank you to our sponsors, KWE of the Academy. A big thank you to Calagas, our current sponsors, and everybody else that sponsored the club. Well, As interim chairman, because I'm only here with the interim board until September at the AGM, when the shareholders of this club will decide who leads us going forward. If I'm to be that chairman, it will still be an honour and a privilege, and I'll be glad to be here, but we will see. But I've come in with three clear things in my mind. We will be a good landlord, a good tenant to the landlord. We will put the best team out on the pitch within the club's means. And that means we have to raise as much money as we can. So I'm sorry, Christopher, that's the reason why you only got 25 quid for heads and tails. <laughs> we, we need every penny that we can get. The third thing is that we want to try and improve the facilities. Yes, we have the Leslie Gosden stand, but everybody knows that to take this club forward, we do need some decent facilities. So I'll be working hard to try, at least during my tenure, to help that along. Can't promise anything except hard work and dedication. My background with Woking Borough Council for 20 years has taught me that we have a fantastic town here, we have a fantastic community. And I bring you one definition of a family in football. We are a family in football, we are a club in the business of football. But we must not forget that we are a family. Yes, we may fall out from time to time, as most families do. But we, we, will, we will get strength from each other going forward. And like all families, we will succeed in whatever we choose to succeed in. I am confident of that. I have no doubt about it. So I give you, and I will sit down now because we want to get the dancing on. The players have done outstanding this season. Um, Gary and Tomo have come in and taken yeah. us to where we need to be. I've sat down with both of them. They have a clear sense of purpose. Very clear, crystal clear. They want this club to go forward. They're passionate about it. And so am I. So I thank the players for all their efforts. It's been a long, hard season, but we're not done yet. We're not done yet. I know that. I can see they want it. I want it. The management team want it. The supporters certainly want it. The fantastic support that takes us, that comes with us everywhere we go. You know, back in February, when things weren't going so good, no disrespect to the previous management setup, 
They do some fantastic things, the Brighton FA Cup run, etc. Crowds were down to 625, something like that, 600. Where are they now? We're back up to 2,000, a home game, 1,500. And that's because people like what they see. They like the product that we're producing. So a massive thank you to the players. Everybody that's been involved. It has been a year of change. There has been a lot of change. I'm here to bring some stability, some clarity of purpose, some stability, and a big dose of realism about how we conduct ourselves off the pitch and where, what we need to do to raise sufficient funds to get where we want to be. So that's going to be my contribution. I see the contribution already out there, uh, and I applaud it wholeheartedly. So back to, to, to my finishing statement. One, club, one family, one club, one working FC, going places. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much.